Um, I'm going to talk to you today about diarrhea. All right. I know you don't want to hear the word and, you know, it's kind of disgusting and people sit there and they go, ah, you know, but here's the thing. If you have problems with diarrhea, either you have Crohn's disease, ulcerative colitis, irritable bowel syndrome, or just, you know, they haven't been diagnosed yet and you don't know why, I'm telling you, there are answers out there and I want to help you. Let me help you. Hi, this is Dr. Michael Berglund. Welcome to Common Sense Menace. Today, we're touching on this wonderful, which is used touching with diarrhea, but I'm going to talk about touching, touching with diarrhea. All right. I want to help you. Um, and it, let's define it. Okay. You should have one to three bowel movements a day. Okay. And those bowel movements should be formed. And people sit there going, oh, I hate talking about this. And I know, I, but, he, but here's the thing. If we don't talk about it, we don't know. And if we don't know, then we don't know, right? Generally, people that have diarrhea that we're concerned about, we're concerned because they're having multiple uh, issues a day or they have urgency where they don't know when it's coming and it happens very fast and they're afraid to start leaving their home. They're afraid to start and do things because they don't know when it's going to happen. Let's go back and go, what causes the body to do diarrhea? Because diarrhea, to be fair, is a normal body process. Coughing, sneezing, um, uh, are, and diarrhea are all natural body processes. We, they're, they're the body responding the way it's supposed to respond when it has something in it that's abnormal. So let's talk about it. Why would the body do that? So there's generally three different reasons, three separate reasons why the body uh, would freak out from something. Okay. First reason is food. You could have a food allergy. You could overwhelm your system. I can have you drink, you know, a full bottle of olive oil, right? And your body's going to go, yeah, I can't process that. Right. So that's food. Then we get into digestion. Okay. If you don't have the ability to digest something or you overwhelm your body's ability to digest something in the case of that, that bottle of olive oil, right? That would be overwhelming your body's ability to handle fat. Third one, is called dysbiosis, which basically means that your system has certain levels of, should have a normal level of bacteria in it. When that shifts, when you start getting more pathogens in there, when you start getting some parasites in there, when you start getting some funky organisms in there that don't, that your body knows don't belong, then what happens is your body tries to get them out and it gets them out by opening, opening up and just letting everything flow through. The idea is the same reason rationale you're you have a runny nose, right? You, your body says there's a virus going on up in your nose and tries to flush it out through the nose and it keeps running and running and running and ideas of flushing that virus out. So you, your body's really trying to do you a favor, right? It goes, I can't handle, I can't digest this. I can't handle this food. I need to get rid of this. I can't handle this organism. I need to get rid of this. And it processes it by trying to get rid of it. The problem is when you can't get rid of it or you keep eating the food, you know, um, or this thing doesn't expel, right? And it just stays there. Then you end up with this chronic diarrhea condition. And now we have a problem. So I always tell people when they have this, um, the first thing I always want to check is we can we should be able to do a food elimination over here and, and figure out is it just a food, okay? Um, this is fairly easy from a digestive standpoint because you can tell what, what you're eating, if I'm, is it my bottle handling it or not, okay? When I get over to this side over here, this is what we're left with usually. And so usually I tell people like, you know, um, try, a paras try a parasitic program, try an antibacterial program, try something over here and see, does it help manage this, the, the symptoms? Does it help slow things down? Does it help form, start forming bodies? If it's true, you might need uh, uh, an alternative, medi uh, alternative medical or alternative uh, chiropractic or, or, or a naturopath to help you through this process, to help you uh, figure out what you need to do to get some uh, good solid supplements that work for these kind of things to help you uh, expel whatever it is. And it's going to just, you need to know you're in for a long haul. It's good if you leave any in there, um, you get rid of all the loose stools and you get all the symptoms and you, you're doing great and you stop too soon and you leave some in there, guess what's going to happen? It's all going to come right back. We need to solve this early on. So we're talking about the probiotic, we're talking about this section over here. The big thing you can do is get a, get a very solid probiotic 
and throw that into the mix because that's going to help kind of calm things down. And then you're going to you're you're adding some good guys and you're trying to expel the bad guys in the process of it. You should be able to kind of gain control again. You need control again because I want you to leave your house and feel comfortable and not feel anxious about this because yeah, I know there's not a lot of people you can talk to about this, but you, you can talk to me. I don't care. Just look into your computer and say, Dr. B, thank you for helping me because I hope we can really help you. This is Dr. Michael Berglund, and this is Common Sense Medicine.